Hi, I'm Tamitha Scove with your solar flare forecast for the week of January 27th. Region 2268 is at it again. It showed up on the East Limb and fired a couple M flares, and then it died down. But now that it's rotating to center disk, activity is picking up again, and it's not alone. There are a couple very fast-growing regions, like Region 2271 and this new region, and these regions are beginning to flare themselves, so we might see more flare activity over the next couple days. Switching to our M flare threat meter, you can see we did have a couple of moderate flares about a week ago, but then activity dropped off. Until the 26th, when the activity is picked back up again, uh, we have that M flare there. You can see it just barely popped over the M flare level, and it wasn't very uh, long in duration, but that could be a sign of more activity. So you ham radio operators might expect a little bit more noise uh, in your communications over the next few days. Looking at your solar flare and particle radiation storm outlook over the next few days, NOAA has given us about a 30% chance for M-class flares over the next three days. And I've extended that out to about five days because regions 2268, 2271, and that new active region cluster that's growing so rapidly will still be on the Earth part facing part of the disk over the next week uh, before they rotate off. So expect to see a chance for M-flare activity. Plus, we have region 2257, the old region that was very active on the backside, that will be uh, coming into view uh, in the next few days and it could be an M-flare producer as well. So we haven't experienced a lot of M-flares yet, but the potential is there. So you ham radio operators expect to have a bit more noise and static perhaps in your communications over the next few days and prepare yourself for possible blackouts or disruptions uh, as these regions transit the Earth-facing disk over the next week. I'm Tamitha Scove. Thank you for watching.